Hello viewers. This is uh, Let's Build Tapping His Boathouse Part 1. Uh, I'm going to walk you through what I've already set up and then take you through 20 minutes of boring wall creation uh, in my particular style. I think Tapping the Boathouse is going to be the last settlement I built in this particular style. I want to experiment and create kind of a new style. Um, maybe develop some kind of, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not creative. Uh, not like uh, some of the other Let's Build YouTubers out there. Not even, not even close, but it's cool. It's cool. Uh, it's all about fun. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys how I built my uh, structures to give them that unique dynamic feel and some of the hindsight or I guess uh, ideas by what I'm looking for when I build and kind of the immersive elements I try to give my settlements so they look like living breathing um, living areas um, okay uh, the so the video is two parts recorded on PlayStation 4 and I spent up the first one by 25% and the second part by 50% so every once in a while you're gonna hear the idiot savant trigger and it's gonna be like high-pitched chipmunk and uh, I don't, it's pretty hilarious but so uh, with tapping the boathouse I'm gonna start with uh, after obviously doing these structures, the two structures at the front and back, I throw up some windmills. I like the windmills, I like the way they look. They're really post apocalyptic farm type uh, power generators. They look good. Uh, I don't really set up any power in this video though because I'm a derp and, and earlier I was running around uh, without my pit boy line on so you can't really see the inside of the structure at the back but I will correct that in a future let's build but what I really want to focus on today is the wall is the junk wall that's going to go up along this side of the road So, uh, there's a limited space. Um, it's hard to lay down the carpets to do the rug glitch and not have these idiots walk all over them. I also, I learned this from Davey uh, over at No Respawns in his Let's Build. If you build the carpets on the edge, you can see them actually stack up on top of each other and then it's easier to just to see precisely where your junk fences are gonna land on top of the carpets um, I always give them a test move because uh, sometimes they just don't they don't land on top of each other they don't the collision doesn't sit right on top of the, either the carpet on the carpet or the rug or the, the junk fence itself and that you know just give it a little test and then you're not constantly walking away like an idiot um i do a lot of idiot walking nailed it i don't have anything for these settlers to do so they walk all over the place and get in the way and it's it's one of the main reasons I sped up these two videos. I mean, not only did it shorten it from 26 minutes to 18, which, I mean, I'm not here to bore anybody to death, but it also, I, there's a lot of downtime of me being pushed out of the way because of the just ridiculous Bethesda creation engine. The NPCs always win in pushing matches. Just drives me crazy. I will try to remember to do the let's builds 
uh, with the best sunlight so you can see what's going on precisely how I line it up uh, I check every angle just to make it look right. I mean, I, again, I want it to look shitty, like intentionally shitty. So uh, usually I'm happy when it's not lined up perfectly, but I do like to uh, get the, the posts lined up so they at least look like they were, the post holes are dug into the ground at the same uh, line. Uh, so that the walls don't look like they were built like by morons, uh, but by survivors of the apocalypse with basic understanding of how to build a fence, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, obviously, didn't like how... So, the, I, I brought this up before. There, are, I like to use the chain... The, the barbed wire chain uh, fences of the two types. There's without the barbed wire on the top and the barbed wire on the top. I'm sure you know this. Uh, and then there are two flat parts and then there's a thick tire part. And of the two flat parts that aren't a gate or a corner or a doorway, one has uh, tires on it and the other has a chain link fence on the inside part and that one the latter the, with the chain link fence for whatever reason is super difficult uh with the collision mechanics for setting it on top of move cow setting it on top of this carpet um so i quite often if i know i'm gonna have a difficult placement like a tricky angle or uh, it's gonna have to sit just right to get it to, to line up to look um, right. If I'm red glitching it in to a uh, section, I will go with the former, the parts with the tires on it, and it just makes it so much easier. Uh, especially if you have to reset yourself over and over and over again sometimes i get a little uh trigger happy and i pull it, the rugs out and then i and then i go back and i'm like oh that's not where i want to put it and i gotta take it out set it up again i mean I, and then all these things it's i you just try to be efficient because they take forever and you don't want to be i mean building settlements is super fun but i don't want to die uh buildings well you know it wouldn't be bad but uh if I've got to go uh, with a PlayStation control in my hand, I'm sure there are worse ways out there. But still, I mean, there are other settlements to be built. You want to get get going on them, not be pissing around with a, a rug glitching fence wall. So we're almost at the end of the first part. And uh, I just wanted to show you how I line up those generally that's the that's the methodology for every piece that I line up here so I cut out some video well and honestly I didn't even record I stopped recording you can only record 15 minutes of footage on a PlayStation 4 so I stopped recording finished the wall up to this part because uh, it was kind of a it looked like it might be challenging and interesting to show how I uh, problem solve for uh, tricky corners and and using the different uh, junk junk wall parts. I'm gonna start with the big thick tires. I will show how they. Um, I mean, they generally they don't really fit that flat motif of almost all of the other parts but they are great for doing parts like this where uh or sections like this where you have to fit them in around corners oh, that was a total fail and a spaz so 
sometimes you gotta remove some of these pieces to get them in there and there's another fucking settler in the way and another fucking settler in the way and they're really bad when it's raining apparently try to move it over i like them to stick into the wall a little bit on this side of the doorway but not too much i want to still be able to get a door to fit in there getting really close to the size limit um, of this settlement. I'm going to have to use the, uh, the gun glitch, I guess, to free it up. I don't think I have any guns uh, just lying around in this settlement, so I'm probably going to have to, at the end of the video, just uh, stop it when I'm full and farm up some materials and farm up some guns so we can continue building the settlement i don't know why well i know i don't went with a, a size limit uh it's not a mechanic for gameplay because you don't get really anything out of the settlements they don't they don't do anything if you have like 22 settlers you're you still take the same amount of damage on the based on your difficulty setting on this or the same uh weapon damage uh it's just uh i mean it's memory it's all about it's all about memory uh and i mean if you do the 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 gun glitch several times like uh on my slug settlement uh the frame rate really it, it starts dropping and I mean I don't I don't think it's that noticeable uh, I don't know if it's worse on the uh, X bone but on PlayStation 4 I haven't really noticed it I mean I don't I don't build huge I mean massive JV 2017 settlements but uh, I, I, there is a slightly noticeable dip in the frame rate but I mean again I'm not there's not a lot of comment that happens inside the settlements, especially when you're done. So it doesn't really matter. It's mainly it's about how much fun you're having developing uh, settlements. I mean, It's important when you're removing the rugs you have to take them one layer at a time uh, if you top to bottom so this would be the bottom and then the next layer and then the large carpet or rug is the top layer and if you take the first one closest to the player first the others often sink into the ground and you can't pick them up they're just gone and i mean it's not the end of the world you just farm up more cloth but again it's about time i, mean, I have troubles farming up enough wood to continue to create all these settlements so you know i'm not going to waste time looking for newspapers uh i mean if they're a handy scrap piece like uh, the paintbrush for instance is wood and um, cloth so picking that up is worth it but I'm not I'm not gonna waste any weight um, specifically looking for cloth no I not not for carpet glitching I mean I don't use too many carpets in my builds so it's just not it's not worth it i i mean i i don't build strength based characters so i don't have a lot of inventory space in the first place and i mean when you're hunting down steel and wood and every every tenth of a pound counts yeah fuck newspapers 
hope the music selection is okay. Uh, I mean, you, I try to find upbeat, electric, I don't know, just something to keep in the background. Um, this uh, particular song seemed okay, so why not? Last thing I'm going to do because I literally have at this point one I can build like one more thing and then it's capped out settlers Jesus I'm gonna have to give them something to do so they stay the fuck out of my way uh, what I'm gonna do here is use one of the corner pieces to uh, clip around the concrete uh, base there the pole I guess Again, simply a matter of lining it up the way you like it so that it looks like it's been built onto the concrete and wooden structure. So what I'm looking at here is yeah, I'm going to try and wrap it around the concrete on the front mainly. Now, it's a little bit too clippy onto the side there, but I'm not too worried about it. Just boop, boop. And done. I like the, a little bit of that concrete to show, but not too much. I will be putting in the gate on part two. I will try to uh, finish these walls off camera. I already have uh, some of the footage recorded, so uh, it's just a matter of uh, editing and rendering. Uh, I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the outside. Not too shabby. Impregnable. Or whatever. And that, friends, is the wall. Boom. We will see you at part two, whenever I put it up. Thanks for watching.